Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about the clutch delay valve on the AP2 Honda S2000. The clutch delay valve was introduced with the AP2 Honda S2000 as a safeguard to prevent shock to the drivetrain when the clutch is engaged too quickly. Basically, the clutch delay valve was introduced so that people would stop blowing up diffs when dumping the clutch from a stop. Here's how it works. The clutch delay valve is a one-way valve, meaning it restricts the flow of hydraulic fluid inside the clutch slave cylinder in only one direction. For example, when you press down on the clutch pedal to disengage the clutch, the hydraulic fluid compresses this spring, moves the ball, and allows fluid to flow quickly through the large passage. However, when you release the clutch pedal to engage the clutch, the spring inside the valve is not compressed and the large passage is blocked by the ball. The hydraulic fluid is then forced to go through this very small hole. Ultimately, this can slow the rate at which the friction disc and the flywheel engage and cause the clutch to slip for a brief period of time. Here is a video of the clutch delay valve in action. If you look at the tachometer, you will notice that the RPM seem to bounce or stutter when the clutch engagement happens. Here is a video with the clutch delay valve removed. If you look at the tachometer, you won't see the RPMs bounce or stutter when the clutch engagement happens. As you can see, the behavior of the clutch delay valve restricts the full performance of the car, which is why many people who track their cars choose to eliminate it. Some other people simply consider the clutch delay valve a shifting nanny which takes away from the raw nature of the Honda S2000. If you want to eliminate your clutch delay valve, there are two options. The most popular approach is to open up the AP2 clutch slave cylinder and remove the clutch delay valve. This is the route that I went. If you're interested in how to do that, I'll leave a video link down below. The other method is to replace the AP2 clutch slave cylinder with an AP1 clutch slave cylinder. Contrary to popular belief, the AP1 clutch slave cylinder is not completely plug and play with an AP2. The AP2 clutch fluid line has a longer locating tab that won't fit around the AP1 clutch slave cylinder. You will need to trim the locating tab or grind some clearance into the AP1 clutch slave cylinder in order to make it work. I hope this video helps you understand how the clutch delay valve works and why you might want to delete it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below for any DIY you'd like to see in the future.